KDK meteorologist Kristen Emery now with your forecast. I love it. You had to do it. Yeah. What a beautiful day. Look at that. People out riding their bikes. I actually saw one of my neighbors neighbors starting to put down a little mulch around the tree and I'm like, no, 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 no. Too soon. Too soon. I'm not ready for yard work, but it was definitely warm enough. Uh, 66 degrees is the current temperature. Light winds out of the south. High temperature made it up to 72 today way above our normal high that's in the mid 40s. Take a look at the current temperatures. We're still in the 60s from Washington up to Newcastle, upper 60s down in Morgantown, and then look how much cooler it is over into the laurels and the ridges. 46 in Somerset right now. Quite a contrast there. Then we're looking at some changes tomorrow. Warm temperatures stick around, but with an approaching warm front and then a trailing cold front, we're going to have some very blustery conditions. There's a wind advisory in effect tomorrow for all of these brown shaded counties. That includes Lawrence, Beaver, Butler counties, and all of the counties along I-80 here. Winds could gust everywhere between 40 to 45 miles per hour, but in those areas along with eastern Ohio, we could have winds gusting up to 50 miles per hour at times. So here's that warm front lifting across the area, but back off to the west, boy, it's touching off some trouble spots. You can see quite a bit of heavy rain, showers, thunderstorms across portions of Wisconsin, Minnesota, in through Eastern Iowa, we even have some severe thunderstorms here and some flash flood warnings. And then behind that, you see the cold air changing it over to snow into portions of South Dakota. So some big changes on the way. Mostly it'll be wet for us as we head through Sunday and Monday and then a little bit of a break midweek. So here's future cast. We stay warm overnight. Look at this temperature by tomorrow morning, only the upper 50s, but notice all of the rain. So we'll wake up to wet weather tomorrow. By around lunchtime, we'll get a little break in those showers. Just cloudy with a couple of showers later tomorrow afternoon. Very windy though. And then as we head toward Monday morning, here comes the heavy rain. Temperatures will be falling through the afternoon, still warm into the 60s. But boy, those winds and that rain going to make for an interesting couple of days. Monday, we could get up to an inch of rain, even a few rumbles of thunder possible. So here's how it plays out. 54 tonight, increasing clouds showers toward tomorrow morning and then windy with showers the first half of tomorrow, the high 70 and then here's your seven day forecast. Beautiful temperatures tomorrow, but it'll be wet in the morning. You might need the umbrella or the rain jacket as you head out to early services or Sunday morning activities. Then we dry out tomorrow night through Monday. Another inch of rain through the day Monday may have some minor flooding concerns, but right now it doesn't look like it should be a problem. Should be a long duration event. Tuesday, Wednesday, we cool down to the 40s. We're back up to the 50s and 60s to end the week, but look at next Saturday some snow showers and 30s. We'll be right back with sports.